only at a public school cafeteria will they put like ketchup on an English muffin, call it the weekly special, and then try to sell it to you as gourmet mini pizzas or something. The lunch ladies are ripping up some lunch meat and tossing it onto a couple of them. They'll be like Canadian bacon, limited quantities, and yet somehow that's still better than the burgers, you know, the ones with the buns that somehow manage to have spots that are soggy and spots that are stale on the same burger. Not even, in the same bite, to be honest. But I think the worst part about the school cafeteria food isn't even the half-frozen mystery meat burgers they'll be serving up, because you already know to expect nothing special coming out of the school cafeteria. Nah, it's the fact that you got a 100 meter dash race all the other kids to the lunchroom to fight for a spot in line just so you don't end up having to spend half of your lunch period waiting in line for your half-frozen mystery meat burger. Or if you did get one that was fully thawed and still warm, you could flop that patty around like it was a piece of rubber. It was either that or some chicken not so tenders. I remember when I first started high school, I had high hopes for the cafeteria because it seemed to be a lot better upon first glance from what I was coming from. Because compared to my middle school, there was way more to choose from. In my middle school, they served the same thing every day of the week, so it just alternated between the same five meals every week. They'd switch up the roster like once every two years, and then I got to high school, the cafeteria actually had options. There were hamburgers, macaroni, pizza, spaghetti. I was like, oh, this here is different. But it only took like three times of biting into some cardboard pizza or chipping my tooth on one of the stale hamburger buns to realize it was really nothing that special. It was still garbage, just more of it. So now I can just choose between which garbage I want. So the way it worked at my school was you picked out an entree, a side dish, a drink, and then maybe a couple other random things they gave you, and that was your meal. And it really didn't matter what combination of items you picked, school lunches just always managed to look depressing, and it'd make regular food look like the most gourmet thing ever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to act like it was all bad, because there were still some pretty good options, but there were also a lot of bad ones, and even the good ones were hit or miss sometimes. But let me tell you about some of the items on the top of the list of the worst foods on the cafeteria's menu. Now, as for the list of entrees you could choose from, the lineup was not great. One of the choices for your entree was pizza, and anyone with good pizza at their school, I'm automatically jealous of you. Because my school was serving up that sheet of cardboard tasting pizza, you could definitely peel off the cheese in a single solid sheet and probably frisbee it across the room. And never was it hot either. I don't think I once ate a single slice of hot pizza from my high school cafeteria. Another entree you could choose from was sometimes they'd have nachos, they'd sprinkle some shredded cheese over some chips, charge like $3 for it. The quesadillas they served was another one that ranked near the top of the list of foods that would only fly in either a school cafeteria or a prison. It was technically a quesadilla, but the amount of cheese they put into that thing was so little, it was so paper thin by the time they put the tortilla on both sides. You turn that thing sideways and it disappears from your vision. Thinnest quesadillas you've ever seen. They were talking about fresh off the grill, nah, fresh off the steamroller maybe. Like it'd probably provide better function if you just snapped off a piece to use as a toothpick to get the nasty bits of mystery meat burger out of your teeth. Another option they had was these bean burritos, and they were actually pretty good, except whoever was in charge of wrapping those things needs to be fired ASAP. Because every time, without fail, you take like one bite, and the entire thing would just collapse. It'd just start unwrapping, giant globs of bean would just start oozing out the bottom. Had no type of structure. You just had to accept that your lunch was gonna be a mess if you ordered one of those. But it wasn't all bad though, I gotta give credit where it's due. They had these chicken sandwiches, and those had to have been by far the best thing on the menu. They were actually so good bro. Occasionally they bust out the spicy versions, those used to slap so hard, put a little ketchup or hot sauce on there, and I was fully satisfied with my meal. The macaroni was another one that was pretty good too. You just had to make sure you ate it in the first 5-7 to seven minutes before it solidified into a single solid mass. Another entree they would sometimes have, which I never understood why anyone would choose because it was easily the nastiest option on the entire menu was, I guess it was supposed to be a sloppy joe, but the bread was always stale and they'd use like an ice cream scoop to plop a blob of super processed barbecue sauce mixed with stringy meat onto the bread and they always either had way too much salt or none at all. That long lunch line I was talking about, that's what all the people back here in this region were getting left with after all the better stuff got taken. Like, you were down egregious if you were eating a stale bun, stringy meat, lukewarm sloppy joe for lunch. You eat one of those and you'll have brain fog and fatigue for the rest of the day. 
food supposed to give you energy? Nah, that thing just depleted it even further. And I know a thing or two about those, because my senior year of high school, right, the class I had right before lunch was literally the single furthest class from the cafeteria on the entire campus. It was not possible to have a worse disadvantage when it came to getting a good spot in the lunch line. So I often found myself at this part of the line getting stuck with this part of the menu. Another reason the line would be stretched literally outside of the building on the regular was because of how small and cramped the cafeteria was for how many people had to go through it. It just wasn't set up that great. I remember going to one of the other high schools around my area and I couldn't believe how much better their cafeteria was. Their place looked literally like a mall food court with like seven different stalls stretched across the walls. I think they even had like fast food chains inside of them like a subway and a pizza hut in their cafeteria. Was their regular cafeteria? of food actually any better? I mean, who knows, but at least theirs was all big and spacious so they didn't have to have lines stretched out the building. Occasionally, they'd say they have a special item or limited edition item. Just don't even bother to get excited over that. You're just going to be disappointed. I remember one time they said Philly cheesesteak, special item, and I got all hype. I was getting ready to have a bomb tasting lunch, and then I saw them put it on my plate. It was a hot dog bun with a scoop of the most watered down meat, and then like a thing of Kraft cheese on the top. Never again. I remember one time they had this grilled chicken and I was automatically suspicious of that because I highly doubted there was a single grill anywhere in the building. That got me wondering about the grilled cheese too. But anyways, I guess not enough people ordered this grilled chicken and they didn't sell it all. And then in the next few days, there started being a suspicious amount of subsequent special items involving chicken. The cheese pizza turned to chicken pizza. The regular salad turned to chicken salad. They're cutting up the leftover, throwing it in some pasta and try to advertise it as chicken stroganoff. They're like, yeah, they'll eat this chicken one way or another. I remember they had these containers of fruit, usually like strawberries or peaches, and there was not one time those things were not frozen solid. Like there was no way to actually eat them. You could leave it thawing on your tray the entire lunch period, and it still wouldn't be in a state you could eat it by the end. I don't know why they couldn't just take them out of the freezer a little earlier in the day. They really expected us to consume a frozen brick. And if you tried to skip over it, the lunch lady would hit you with a, oh honey, you almost forgot your fruit cup. The other thing with the cafeteria lunches at my school is they gave you a bag of tater tots with every single meal you ordered. And a good 70% of the time, you would not believe how stale those things were. Like you were for sure breaking a tooth if you tried to bite into one of them. You could throw them on the ground, you'd hear a thud, and they'd take like two more bounces. I mean, I'm no expert in the physics of a well-cooked tater tot, but I don't think they should be doing that. And then the other 30% of the time was the complete opposite. They'd be all soggy and wet and mushy and squished together. There were two settings on the oven they used to cook those things and nothing in between. And the other thing was how the temperature of any given food, it was always a toss up. Sometimes the chicken sandwiches were hot, sometimes they were still half frozen. Sometimes the hamburger buns were stale, sometimes they were soggy, sometimes they were normal. Only at the cafeteria will the bean burritos alternate every other bite between like burning your tongue off and then the next would somehow still be frozen. The temperature of the cafeteria food was just never quite right. The closest they would get is when it would be warm, but not the type of warm from an oven. It'd be like warm as if it had been sitting on the sidewalk in the summer for an hour. Even the cups of juice, you'd think like it's a cup of apple juice. There is no wrong way you could serve this. And some days it would be fine, and then other days it'd just be frozen solid. No type of consistency. But that's all for this video. Let me know about your guys' worst cafeteria food experiences down in the comments. I want to hear what abominations some other cafeterias are out here chefing up. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you all in the next one.